What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 Quick Lane Bowl between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with Rutgers. For Rutgers in this ball game, the running game has to help out Gary Nova in that passing offense. We've seen inconsistent efforts from the ground game this season. Granted, they've dealt with a lot of injuries in the backfield and inconsistency along the offensive line, but they have to bring it this game versus UNC. And the Knights' defensive pressure has to come between an A and B gap. You can't allow Marquise Williams to beat you with his legs. Make him make plays consistently from the pocket. And that starts by playing contained on the outside while going aggressive on the interior. And it is vital that Rutgers avoids a breakdown in the special teams department. They are facing one of the top returners in the country in Ryan Switzer. You don't want to give up anything cheap. Make him earn it. For UNC in this matchup, I would move the pocket for Marquise Williams and work that waggle and roll out pass game more versus a blitzing Rutgers defense. The Tar Heels will see some exotic pressures coming from Rutgers and they can combat that by putting Williams on the move. Defensively, North Carolina has to beat the guards of Rutgers to the spot. The Scarlet Knights love to pull linemen in the running game. If they can't beat them to the spot or if they can beat them to the spot, it clogs up a lot of what they want to do running the football. And the Tar Heels also must identify where combo safety Lorenzo Waters is aligned at all times. They love to move him around the formation, around the defense, and is also utilized as a blitzer, so identify where he is and adjust accordingly. The biggest X factor in this ballgame for Rutgers, I believe, will be the play of their cornerbacks. They have a tough task this week, not because they're facing some top-level talent of North Carolina at receiver, because they are, but because of the fact they have a mobile quarterback back there in the pocket at Marquise Williams. So it puts a lot of strain on your cornerbacks to hold coverage for longer periods of time and not get caught looking in the backfield. So again, they have to play well from the neck up this game versus North Carolina. And the biggest X factor for the Tar Heels in this ball game will be the play of their third down defense. They have to find ways to get off the field. They struggled in this capacity all season long. And if they struggle again versus Rutgers, who will be trying to find their ground game early on in this matchup, they could not only lose this ball game, but get ran out the stadium. Now here are some 2015 draft defensive talent, defensive talent, defensive talent, defensive talent on both sides of the ball. You look at Lorenzo Waters. We spoke about him earlier. A guy that has been moved all around the defense and is also an excellent blitzer, can cover both in the slot and also deep third. You also look at North Carolina's defensive players, Narkeithis Otis, outstanding linebacker Ethan Palmer, who's a very talented defensive tackle, and Tim Scott roaming the back end has done a solid job this season for North Carolina. And back to Rutgers, you look at Gary Nova, a guy that has gotten better his senior season than what we've seen over the course of his career so definitely has some pro potential you want to see that level of consistency from his game starting in this bowl game versus UNC The 1976 Rutgers Scarlet Knights football team went undefeated, a perfect 11-0 led by head coach Frank Burns. And this is a football team that had four defensive shutouts, very strong on the defensive side of the ball. And they turned down an invite in the inaugural Independence Bowl to take on McNeese State because they felt as though they deserved a better bowl going undefeated and being ranked 17th in the country. And with the way they played defense that season, you'd have to agree with them. I think that a lot of people forget how good Bucky Brooks was for North Carolina from 1989 to 1994. An explosive player also ran track for the Tar Heels. And in 1992, he caught 21 passes for 400 yards, averaging 19 yards a catch and three touchdowns. And as a senior in 93, 25 receptions, 514 yards, averaging 20.6 yards a catch. In the 2009 St. Petersburg Bowl, Rutgers was able to outgun UCF 45-24, thanks in part to three touchdowns by Muhammad Sanu and a defense that put the clamps on UCF after halftime, only allowing one more touchdown in the ballgame.
In the 2001 Peach Bowl, UNT was able to stymie the Auburn Tigers offense led by Jason Campbell, and they got great play from Willie Parker, building a 16 to nothing lead with the Tigers only scoring their 10 points in the fourth quarter to make it respectable. I like Rutgers in this ballgame. I believe the Scarlet Knights' defense will be the reason why they come away victorious. I like what they do from a blitz perspective. They're able to get pressure with their safeties. They're able to get pressure with their linebackers and up front with Darius Hamilton and what he can do beating guys one-on-one -on -one off the ball. I think they'll cause a lot of problems up front for North Carolina. And on offense, look for Gary Nova to play a sound game, a mistake-free game, and come away the 2014 Quick Lane Bowl champs.